Were you ever bullied in school? I was bullied a lot. I looked different and I sounded different than the other kids. But you know what was worse than the bullying? Was all the advice that I got from adults about what to do about the bullying. Number one, fight back. That didn't work. I felt bad about the bullying, bad about what I did. I sometimes got in trouble and the bullying got worse. Number two, avoid the bully. My bullies sat next to me in a lot of my classes and I couldn't get away from them unless I skipped school and I couldn't do that all the time. Number three, tell an adult. Anytime I tell an adult, the bullying would get worse. And I was often bullied when adults weren't around, so it didn't really help the situation at all. Number four, be above the bullying. This was basically adults asking me to pretend that the bullying didn't hurt and didn't matter, but that wasn't true. It did hurt and it did matter and I wanted it to stop. And so I wasn't able to get the bullying to stop while I was in school. And the whole time I was at school, I was bullied. And then I began to think as I was getting ready to graduate out of school, that if I left this place and I left these people, the bullying would stop. But that didn't happen. I left that school and I left those people and bullying followed me. It followed me wherever I went, into workplaces, into other things that I did. There would always end up being some kind of bullying situation. So bullying obviously wasn't being caused by the specific place or the specific people that I was around because it would pop up anywhere I went. But I really wanted to fix this problem. And then I heard about seeds. And so this is a sunflower seed. And if you plant this seed in the ground, it's going to produce a sunflower, which is taller than me. This tiny little seed will produce this great big plant. And most plants are like that. If you plant an acorn, you're gonna get a big maple tree, huge. Um, if you plant a small, teeny, tiny tomato seed, you're gonna get a huge tomato plant. And so always the seed is smaller than the plant itself. And then whatever seed that you plant, you're gonna get that same thing. So this seed here will only produce a sunflower. It won't produce a tomato or a potato or a squash. I'd have to plant the seeds for those in order to get those types of plants. And the same thing is true about us as people. Anything we think, say, or do, we are planting seeds within us. And those seeds can either be good seeds or they can be bad seeds, depending on what we're doing and what we think, say, and do. And so then I started thinking about back when I was in school, I would be a little bit mean to my sister. She was three years younger than me. She always wanted to play with me. I didn't want to play with her. She was annoying. I just wanted her to go away. So I'd be a little bit mean to get her to go away. And that was a small negative seed that I was planting. My mother would ask me to do chores and I would get a little bit sassy back. I didn't want to do the chores. I didn't want to be bothered. And so I would mouth off and that was a small negative seed that I was planting. And so that small thing has to produce something big and it has to produce something like that, something unpleasant, something that's mean. And I got to thinking about that and I thought, man, if I just plant kindness seeds everywhere I go, that would solve this issue. Here's the problem with that. I don't always feel like being kind. I don't always feel like being kind gets you anywhere sometimes. And I didn't know what to do about that. The seed idea seemed logical and I really wanted to get rid of these bullies. But how was I going to be kind all the time? And so what I started doing in that is I started meditating because meditation is another way to plant good seeds in your mind. If you think about something that's good and positive. And so I did a loving kindness meditation. I would think about people that I loved. I would think about people I didn't know very well. And I would think about people that I maybe didn't like that much. And I would try to send them love from me. And I was planting these little seeds of kindness while I did that meditation. And slowly, over time, while I started to do this meditation, I began to see my world change. And I began to see more loving and kindness coming towards me because that's what I was planting. And 
I no longer have bullies in my life because I started to plant those seeds even when it was difficult. But the beautiful thing about this is you don't have to believe me. You know, I tried all those other things that adults told me and they didn't work. And so I went and found something that did work. So I would challenge you, can you sit down and think about seeds that you are planting that may be causing some of the things in your life? And can you plant something different than that to get a different result?